I am going to discuss, I am going to make this video, I am preparing this video about henceforth there will be no more mistakes while speaking English. So this is about the, the rectifications and uh, how to enhance, how to improve, how to develop the speaking skill of English and how to avoid the mistakes in while speaking English. Uh, today we are going to know in this video about that topic. So I think uh, you all are eager to know the principles, eager to know the tips to improve English to and uh, by avoiding the mistakes. I will tell you how. Henceforth, there will be no more mistakes while speaking English. How? How it will be possible? You have to follow only three, these three simple steps. Study perfectly the auxiliary verbs. What are the auxiliary verbs? We have already discussed in our previous video, but, uh, but, but I will tell you very briefly and in a concise manner, I will tell you how to um, study perfectly the auxiliary verbs. And after that, practice answer, sorry, practice answering the questions. You have to uh, answer the questions like, how are you? Then, uh, Every individual will have the different answers for that question. Like, because that is subjective, you know. And uh, how are you? I will answer that question like, I am very, very well here with my studies and health. This is one type of answer. But different persons will have the different answers. So, you have to make your habit to give the answers of your own for the questions. That will make to avoid and to improve your English language. Okay. Third one, read wide range of books. Because books are our real friends, you know. So that is why we have to read the several books. The sake of books will improve our knowledge as well as the grammatically correct language. So we have to make the habit of reading English books, the wide range of books. The books will improve our knowledge as well as the grammatically correct and rhythmically correct. So we have to enhance our reading habit. First one, study perfectly the auxiliary verbs. There will be auxiliary verbs, they are segregated in present, past and future. They are am, is, are in the present, PR, present. In past, was, were, have, has, had, and in future, there will be auxiliaries like shall, will, going to, and shall be will be, shall have, will have. So like that, you have to improve, means you have to study thoroughly the auxiliary works because if a question is there, okay, and study perfectly the modal auxiliaries also, they are also very important. Now, I will give you one simple sentence like, I am going to college. I am going to college. To here, what is the auxiliary? Am is auxiliary here. But if I write here, uh, apart from uh, rather writing am, if I write here is, then it will be absolutely wrong because I is going to college is not perfect and. Uh, the people will make fun of you and they will laugh on your English. So that is why that uh, slang language is not going to make your English better. So that is why before going to speak in English, we have to make our knowledge perfectly about the English. We have to acquire, we have to grasp the auxiliaries at the very first thoroughly, not, uh, not randomly, but thoroughly we have to perfect. If I write here, I will, 
I will be then it will it will show the future situation okay now am I am going to college this is present continuous tense present continuous tense but if I write I will be I will be going to college then it will show the future continuous tense so that's why we have to make the auxiliaries at the very first perfect and if I will tell you only one thing if the foundation will be great if the foundation will be better if the foundation will be best then your building will not fall there will be no chance to fall a building so that's why your construction so that's why we have to make our foundation better make our base better then that will make us uh, that will uh, that will not let the building to fall okay second one practice answering the questions as I have told you already how are you now what are you doing what are you doing to this you have you have so many answers so you have to you have to practice answering the questions and uh, develop the reading habit if you read something because the editor will quote the editor will print with a very perfect English means they, that will be grammatically correct, grammatically correct and uh, um, the vocabularies will be high and uh, new words you will get. So, uh, overall that will give you some more knowledge to speak English and if, if I write here, if, uh, means either writing uh, is, if I write here am, then it will be correct because if I write here uh, is, then it will not show that that will prove you are not knowledgeable and you are if you are not means you are not fond of the books so that's why if you read english the reading will develop your speaking as well as uh, writing so that's why i if, if possible then read the books and be a uh, perfect reader and be the um, perfect um, giving the answer then study perfectly the auxiliary verbs these three simple tips these three simple tricks tips then these will improve your english language very perfectly that will make that will design your english perfectly okay thank you so much thank you very much